All right, so factors. Uh, so this is question two. Going back over question two again. So find the highest common factors of 4x and 12x. What's and? Plus. 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 All right, so we're going to write two brackets. And what's the highest number that will divide into 4 and 12? Uh, what can I take from both sides? X plus 3. Alright, so 4x times what is 4x? Plus 3. Times 3 is 12. X instead of 1. The highest common factor is? 4. 4x, isn't it? That's the HCF. Highest common factor is this number here. HCF is equal to 4x. Okay? Is that okay? This, this number is the highest common factor. All right, will we do another one from question two? Uh, question two part, let's say, uh, VI. Two A, two A squared, I'll write it again, two A squared B, and six A B. All right, and is plus, isn't it? All right, what's the highest number that will divide into 2 and 6? 2. 2. All right, a squared is a times a, isn't it? How many a's can I take from both sides? One a Just 1a. One one yeah, I can take an a and a b. All right, so what's, what do I have to write here? One a. An a. And over here? 3. That's it. Do so you understand that? Okay, right, we're on to question uh, 9 now. Question 9, 15x squared, how many x's is that? X, it's, x, it's not 2x, it's x times x, remember? x squared is x multiplied by x. Everybody looking up? No writing. Pen down. Pen down. All right, the highest number that will divide into 15 and 25? And then x squared is x times x, isn't it? So I'll take out one x from both sides. And that's it. I can't take a y from both sides. All right, so what's? Three, three. Five times three is fifth. Five times three is 15. X times x is x squared, isn't it? Five y. Five y. That's right. That's question nine. Question 10. Where is it? 3x squared minus 6x squared y. So anyway, x squared is x times x, and x squared is x times x, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, the biggest number to divide it to 3 and 6? I'll take, I can take two x's from both sides, can't I? I can take x squared from both sides. 3x squared times 1 is 3x squared. And bring down the sign here, this sign comes down here. 2y, that's it. Easy enough? Yeah. Alright, question 13 next. 2x squared y minus 6x squared z. I will put a dash there to show you that's a z and not a 2. Alright, the highest number to divide into 2 and 6? 2x squared, yeah. What's left? 2x squared times y is 2x squared y. Bring down the sign here. 3z. 3z, yeah. That's question 13. Question uh, 16. Alright, so this time we just have three items or objects. 4a squared plus 8a. No writing. Looking up, Barrett. Right, the bracket. So we look at all three numbers now. So remember, if you're finding the HCF of, of three numbers, you write out. You write out the factors of two, one and two. You write out the factors of four. One, two, four. Write out the factors of eight. What's the highest? Well, one is common. 
Two is also common. That's it. That's it. What's the highest common factor? Two. 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 All right. Here there's three A's. Here there's A times A, and there's A. I can only take one A. I can only take one A from each. Isn't that right? Yeah. So that's two. So I'll put it back. That, that was a squared, and that was a three. All right, so this is, what's missing? A to three. 2A, 2A times? A squared. A squared. Yeah, because, see, what you do is, you, when I multiply A times A, I add the powers. 1 and 2 is 3. All right, next, write down the sign. Bring it down. Minus. 2 times what is 4? 2A. And I'm missing an A. And there was an A, there was an A there. 4A. Plus 4. 2A times 4 is... 80. All right, that's 16. Question 17. 4x squared minus 6xy uh, plus 8xz. All right, so brackets again. What's the highest number to divide into 4, 6, and 8? 2. 2 again. Uh, how many x's can I take from each one? I can only take one x. Many y's? None. There's no y there. Z's? No. All right, so 2x times what is 4x squared? 2x. All right, Shh. this way. Take the sign down here, minus. 2x, 3y. All right. Plus 4z. Yeah. That's it. So remember, 2x is a factor, and all of this is a factor. So there's two factors. When I multiply these factors, this times all of that, I get this. I get my answer. Question 17. Now we have question 19 and 21 to do. Look it up this way. Look it up. 4x squared, y squared. Minus 8xy. Alright, highest number that divides into 4 and 8? 4, isn't it? Alright, what about x's? x squared is x times x. y squared is y times y. How many x's can I take from both sides? Just one. Many y's from both sides? Alright, so how do I get... What, what, what am I missing here? 4xy times what gives me... I'm missing an x, aren't I? Yeah. X times x is x squared. Y times y is y squared. 4 times 1 is 4. Alright. Bring down the sign. Minus. 4 times 2 is 8. Uh, do I need any more x's or y's? No. No. Fine. It's question 19. And question 21. 2. There's 3 items here. 2. 2a squared b minus 4ab squared plus 12abc. Shh, stop talking. It's the highest number that will divide into all three. Two. Looking up. Two. All right, uh, a squared is a times a. How many a's can I take from? One a. I can only take one a from all of those. What about b's? One b. Well, yeah, so like there's b squared, there's b times b. I can only take one b from me. So I'll put that back as a squared. All right, so what am I missing? 2ab times what is 2a squared b? 1a. 1a, yeah. Take the minus sign down here. 2 times what is 4? 2. 2, and what am I missing? B. I'm missing a b, isn't I? Yeah, for a b squared. And then bring the sign down here. 2 times 6 is 12, and I'm missing a c. Very good. All right. Now, question. Um, 15. No. What about 11? No. Question 21. Oh, we just done that. 15. All right. Two. Okay. So, for example, question 22, if you look at it, 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 has, it has a set of letters here. But what we'll do is. We'll, we'll do some, we'll find the factors, and then we'll find, we'll look up the, 
reference here and then we'll find the, the letters, okay? So the first one, for example, 3a squared minus 15ab. So we'll factorize it first, find the factors. Look in this way, again, look in this way. The highest number that divides into 3 and 15 is 3. Uh, a squared is a times a. How many a's can I take from both sides? Um, can I take any b's from both sides? No. no. Right, what's missing? 3a times what is 3a squared? Bring the minus sign down. 3 times what? 5b. Okay, so 3a is a factor. So we look at our list. 3a is p and so 3a is p and uh, what's a minus 5b a minus 5b is r that's it p r okay pr so we'll stop okay